This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm really passionate about what I do. I mean, I'm, I'm angry at our society's judgment of these girls. I'm angry at the church's judgment of these girls. And I'm here to set the record straight. People think that being an escort girl is really fun and high class. But can I tell you the matter right now to me is the fact that it's probably the most dangerous job you could have. There's these little girls walking around, having their life. Someone tells them if they dress more provocatively, they'll have more power, they'll have more freedom. But that exploitation of them actually puts them into a prison. And it just for two, three years. Once you get in, you don't get out. When I walked out on my pimp, two of my friends had already gotten murdered. And then when I finally quit the escort services, eight of my friends had already died. Good friends of mine. There were girls that were working like me. That were going on calls that guys would just kill them when they got on the call. They'd choke them. One of my girlfriends disappeared because her pimp was looking for her and she took off on him and, you know, he said, oh, well, she left me. But honestly, I think he killed her. And to this day, they haven't found him. One time, my pimp found out that I was leaving and he proceeded to tie me up and put me in the back of my own Mercedes inside the garage with the car running. And he had a shovel, gloves, and a huge body bag. And he told me that that was the day that I was going to die. So... Closed the trunk and I started singing. I, I felt like I was going crazy. I didn't know. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I mean, literally, like blackness hit me. And I started singing, Jesus loves me, this I know. And he popped the trunk and he said, You're crazy, get out. And he untied me and then left, and I left right after that. That night I left.